Hey, what's going on guys? So another option set that we're going to be looking at here during Frame Arms Month is the Extend Arms 07 Improved Hawk. So this was just recently came out, I think the earlier part of this year, so it's not been out for too long. It's basically just a set of four giant missiles to attach onto the back or arms or wherever you want to attach these onto your kit, of course, obviously. It's very open to customization as it goes with Frame Arms kits. So as always, guys, if you want to check out some Frame Arms stuff or anything else, check the link to USA Gundam Store down below. Thank you to them for sponsoring this review. As always, if you want to save 10% off of everything there too, you can use that coupon code ZACCARILIUS10. I guess I shouldn't phrase it as if you want to, why wouldn't you use it? So when you shop there, just make sure that you do use that coupon code. All right, so here on the front we have the, oh, that is, what's the name of that one? That would be the Wolf Spectre, I believe, right? It is carrying these on its back at the moment in the picture there on this front of the sample here. Uh, this kit, let's take a look around the side of the box here first. So outline basically what you get of course is just the four giant missiles and then a handful of different attachment parts there for that which I can assume you don't need to use all of them or maybe you do but you can use some of those as you need. And then there's just how it's going to look from the back. Customizing this obviously you can put them onto the shoulders, onto the back or just you can like split them up half and half. You don't have to use them both. Obviously at the same time, so there's just a few examples there. And then on the other side, convertible, so I guess you have the option of this back part, you have it where you want to, if you want to have it like in flight or something, I guess maybe have it like that, or just uh, on the shoulder like that. But anyway, you have some options for that. And then the list price for this, 2,000 yen, so about 20 bucks. Seems like it's a little bit expensive for what you get in here, but that just seems to be the way that it goes with this stuff, right? Unfortunately, you get some really cool parts, but it is going to cost you a little bit. So they're going to be pretty good sized as well. If you remember these frame arm stuff is all in 100 scale, but it's not exactly, they're not exactly the same size as Gundam in like real world anyway. So they're 100 scale, but that doesn't mean that they're going to exactly translate to master grade stuff or master grade like size 100 scale Gundams, but usually they're pretty close in terms of how they're going to compare. So all right, let's check out the manual here. Just another front and back view. Down there at the bottom, some text up here. It's all in Japanese, though. Around on the back of the menu, we have a color guide up there at the top. Again, all in Japanese. An illustration here of all the parts here on a Gorai. So that's another example of what you can do with that. Kind of how they're just attached on there. So there's a couple of illustrations, basically. Then opening up to the front page, we have our parts list. Just three runners there. Basically, all the connector parts, all the fins, and then the uh, missile parts, the main body. Parts, so you're just building up those first and then the connectors and that's pretty much it and then just how to mount them on there and then building the opposite side connector so you build the left side and then the right side it's just separately because they're gonna be mirrored so it just shows you how to mount those the option part there for the back some specific parts here for mounting the onto the go rye but of course it should be pretty universal pretty simple to apply this to other different model kits and frame arms girls as well so we'll try some different examples here so we'll just quickly take a look at the runners here first. This is runner X and it's in this light tan color for again all the connector pieces and everything like that. The runner label there says extend arms 07. Runner Y is in this very dark sort of brownish purple kind of color. Very interesting color for these but obviously this is again just the fins for the sides of the missiles. We've got two of this runner. And the parts here for the main bodies and the nose cone of the missiles is in this kind of olive drab kind of color here for this. And again we've got two of this Z runner. So let me get these all built up and then we'll try them out on some kits and see how they look. So here is how the missiles are going to look once they're all built up. Obviously pretty simple, but you got some nice little bits of detail on there. And with them being what they are, I don't think you really would expect them to be too super detailed, but they do look nice and definitely quite large. I think if you're thinking you want to put these on something like a high grade or something like that, they're going to be pretty gigantic. But we'll look at some size comparisons and some examples here in a moment. But I definitely think if you wanted to put these on any sort of Gundam kit, probably a master grade kit or 100 scale kit is going to be the best bet for these but of course they're meant actually for frame arms kits which are also 100 scale but they're usually a little bit smaller than your typical 100 scale Gundam kits usually frame arms kits are a little bit more around the size of a master grade wing kit or something like that which is a little bit smaller but let's just take a look at, at some examples here first all right so first of course we got to try on the frame arms go rai as that's kind of the pictured kit that it's sort of meant to be used for although it is as you guys will see able to be used with other different kits as well it's not really going to be too difficult to use this with other kits it's definitely meant for the go rise so it's, it's going to be most suitable for this 
and it does look really cool of course the go ride just being the design that it is it just sort of looks has this sort of like tank like design and so seeing it as this sort of weapons platform for these gigantic missiles it just sort of makes sense and so it looks good i think they look really cool but i do want to try this on a couple other things as well so let's try this on the frame arms girl go ride as well Oh, right, and she's definitely very back heavy. There's a lot of weight on her now and having a little bit of trouble standing up, but there it is uh, mounted here on the Gorai Kai Frame Arms Girl as well. Fits on there pretty well. You could also just take these off and put them onto like the two halves of uh, the missiles. You could put them onto like her shoulder armor or something like that. Also going to be very heavy, very taxing on the shoulders too, I think. But as you guys can see, it does at least work and looks pretty cool. Matches with the Frame Arms or the Frame Arms Girl go right pretty well. But let's continue on with some other examples. And I wanted to try these on the Stylet Interceptor here, which we recently reviewed. And they do fit onto the backpack here, but the connection is just really loose. So they can fit on here to where we would plug these bits onto the backpack like we saw in the review of the stylet here. So they plug onto there just fine, but the connection is really, really loose, so you just need to tighten that up. And those could be used here for the stylet interceptor here as well. Because you're not gonna be able to mount this onto here without any sort of modification, I'm just gonna give you guys just a side-by-side -side comparison just so you can see how these compare to kind of your typical size HD 144 scale cat. As you can see, they're going to be quite large on there. Not completely out of the question because we do have that particular version of the Jagan, which has the gigantic missiles on its back. And it's sort of similar, I guess, sort of in size to that, but you can see it's going to be very, very large. And just for another example as well, compared to a 30 minutes mission kit, you can see it's coming like up to about his shoulders, basically there in terms of his overall height. So. Uh, really, really big, but you could use these with some smaller kits, I, I'm sure. So as you can see, I think with a little bit of modification, this set could be used for plenty of different things, just all in one like this, or split it up half and half on the two different kits. Or you could definitely use your imagination and find some cool ways to use this with either Frame Arms kits or Gundam kits or whatever else you might want to use these for. So really cool set, I think. I guess just to show you guys how these look when they're not attached onto there gonna look like that just on the side in case you're anyone was wondering but again a pretty cool weapon set indeed so if you guys want to check this out and everything else frame arms and mobile modeling support goods i should say you can check out the link to usa gundam store there down below they do have plenty of frame arms stuff there in stock so you can check that out and of course you can save 10 percent off everything using the coupon code there zaka really is 10 so utilize that as well save yourself some money and so thank you to them for sponsoring the review thank you to you guys for watching and and joining in in frame arms month this month still got plenty more frame arms stuff and modeling sport goods weapons things like that to show you guys to share with you along the way so that's it for this video guys i'll see you next time bye bye